Welcome back, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Quest for Glory. When last we left off, the sun was just setting, and we are back into the town of Spielberg. Because, what is a thief to do in the middle of the day? Not really a whole lot, if you, I mean, you can imagine. But at night, on the other hand... Let's see if we can wait. How long? Let us rest for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes of rest, you feel better. Not yet. 30 minutes more. You are too impatient to rest right now. Let's check. Sunset approaches. Let's see. Well, the maiden is still doing her thing. Now, they say don't go down to dark alleys in the middle of the night. I mean, in the middle of the... Uh, night but what about sunset no one mentioned sunset but we will save just to be certain let us save there we go save let's go down here see what happens this alley and this grimy place appears to be the alley it feels strange here colder than the rest of town there are some barrels um, discarded here a beggar holds out a, ha a, a bowl um, towards your hand Alms! Alms for the poor! I believe I talked to you earlier. But let us offer more stuff to you. Thanks! You know, let me have some advice. My advice is that you don't take up begging. It just doesn't pay. And don't go out at night. Okay, cool. Well, night. I remember when people could stroll around town after dark. There was a spell in Spielberg that... And so it glows at night. Now the only people out at night are thieves. An out-of-town man, you don't dare go out there without a light. When the, uh, without a light, when the sun goes down, the night gaunts will get you. Gaunts. Nobody li ever lived to talk about the night gaunts here. I'm sure... I sure don't want to find out. Spell. I've heard talk that there's some magic that keeps things peaceful around here. Folks just don't feel like fighting in town. Except maybe Crusher. Kind of wonder about this valley at, um, at times, though. Feels funny. Sort of like a spell missed it. Like the spell missed it. It's dark at night, too. Crusher. He works in the tavern. He lives up to his name. Yes, he does. Thieves. I'm not usually bothered by them, since I don't have much to steal. They're around, though. Not safe to sleep in the street at night. Outside you get eaten, inside you get robbed. Well, not wrong about that. Um, that's enough for now. So yeah, there's nothing we can do in here at the moment. Let us rest. We are too impatient to rest. I believe that's because our stamina is full. No, our stamina is not full. We just can't rest. Because that's, it'd be silly. That'd be insane. Alright, let's go inside here. And, uh... Let's see if we can, uh... Ah, see? You can tell that night's fallen. Let's go talk to this dude. The drunken barber at the end of the bar isn't in any shape to talk. At least not coherently. Let's actually talk to these guys. We haven't talked to them yet. Butcher shop. There's not a whole lot of meat in town for me to butcher these days. Now, if someone would bring down the stag in the forest... Got any 979s? Nines? Cards. The cards! They've been very, very good to me. Go, fish! <laughs> Name. Ah, Butch Beefmeister. The butcher. Get it? My name is Butch, and I'm a butcher. Yes, that is very clever. Very clever indeed. Got any 633s? Three Eesh. There's a river to the south by the Flying Falls, which has good-sized trout. Go fish! Bakery. I haven't been able to get any supplies since the brigands closed off the area. The bakery will reopen as soon as I have some. 
Got any 686? Cards. The butcher has been getting all the good cards. Go first! Name. I am Silas Sourdough, the baker. Got any 701s? Fish. Mirror Lake to the south has a, and it has a huge fish, but it's pretty dangerous. Go fish! Hint. I think that's the game telling me to go fish. Let's go talk to the bartender. Seems ignoring you. Maybe you should sit down first. Let's actually do that. There we go. What do you want? Well, first, we're going to save, because I want to show you guys what happens when you actually drink the dragon's breath. They just hand him some gold. Let's get some dragon's breath. If you want a mug of dragon breath, house rule says you have to pay and have to have it cash up. You cough up the cash. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Crusher, our friend here wants dragon's breath. If that's not foreshadowing for anything here, you've never tasted anything like it before. Oh, wow. Talk about a fiery brew. Maybe you really shouldn't have had uh, tried the dragon's breath. Better luck next time, and we hope you save your game. Yes. Yes, this is why um, people, you know, advise against it. It will kill you. So let's restore. We are now here. Let's ask it for his name. I think this bar, uh, this is a bar. I serve drinks. You want drink, order one. You want an answer about stupid questions? Get out. Drinks. Ale, one silver. Troll sweat, five silver. Dragon's breath, 25 silver. Take your pick. Now let's ask about the dragon's breath. It's a house specialty. Troll sweat. It goes down real smooth. Ale. Good for what ails you. Har har har. Bad puns are bad. Crusher. He don't like his personal affairs discussed. My advice is not to do anything that'll get him upset. As I continue to talk to the, um, skirting board. I get no response. There we go. Thieves Guild. Hey. This is an honest establishment. You want me to ask Crusher? Hint, you should probably not talk about him. This is the Eights and Eights Tavern, stranger. Town. What do you think I am? A guide dog or something? Get no response. Continue to get no response as I talk to his belly, apparently. Alright, yeah, we're not getting anything else from him. Let us, uh, leave. All right. Let's see. Can we wait again? Wait ten minutes? After ten minutes, you feel better. Now it's dark. Now we save. Because now we can go down the alley and see what, the, what happens when we actually go down there. But first, let us sneak. Because now it's nighttime. This place seems sinister at night. Some strange object is glowing at the other end of the alley. But unlike most thieves... Oh, your magic doesn't seem to work here. Let's see. Sneaky, sneaky. Give Sneak there your cash and you walk out of here. It's a simple trade. Your life for your, for your money. My fingers are starting to get a bit twitchy, so forget about questions. Just pay the man and get out of here alive. I think you'll find, sir. I have no desire to give you my money. But you can have this. Despite your intentions, you feel the calmness and sense of peace descend upon you, as you even consider the thought of violence. 
they don't seem to think that way. Ah, uh, forget to pay. Oh, you forgot to pay. What a shame. Boy! Hey, Ron, I missed the spot. Perhaps you shouldn't do, just explore alleys at night. Unless you are looking for trouble. Or should learn to look in your manual to learn how to deal with thieves. It is a subtle, it's a not so subtle hint on actually how to deal with them. But, uh, I'm not looking up any walkthroughs or looking through the, uh, manual, because why not? Because why would you do that? Let us pick locks. Because we are thieves, after all. The door is securely barred from the inside, but you do get some practice. Nobody said it would be easy. Oh no, you made too much noise. The sheriff and Otto arrive on the scene and arrest you for criminal carelessness. Work a little faster next time. You can, in fact, screw that up. And being, in, being a novice thief, it does not surprise me. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Let's see, can we break into that one? Picking the locks looks a lot easier in the instruction manual. Now, I don't know if this is actually improving it. Nope, oh, there's 13. Our stealth is going up. 13. 16, yep. We are, in fact, improving. Keep picking the lock. Keep picking the lock. Eventually. Oh, yep. We eventually got in. Well done. The people who must own this house must have some money. Everything looks new, and there is not even a speck of dust and eh, visible. The room smells vaguely of sauerkraut and bratwurst with just a faint odor of smoke and pi from pine wood. From somewhere in the house, you can hear someone snoring. All right, well, we made it in here, so let's save before anything bad happens. The delicate porcelain vase looks like it could be worth some money, although it would take a lot of space in your pack. An uncomfortable looking chair. A small, beautifully decorated metal box with a hinged lid. Looks like solid oak. The cold, dark eyes of a griffin makes you feel a bit uncomfortable, especially since it's about ten times larger than any griffin you've ever seen. You don't know much about art, but you know what it looks like. And that's not it. Let's see, can we take that? Gently and stealthily, you lift the lid of the little box. Oh no! <gasps> oh no! Otto, even in a sleepy state, winds the music box and closes the lid before he heads back to bed. Oh, wow. The goon must have been so dumb or sleepy or both that he didn't notice you standing there. And the door gets left open. So let's not deal with that. And we just figured out whose house this is. In the desk drawer, there's an assortment of worthless objects, mostly worthless objects. But you also find silvers, which you take. You've already robbed the desk. All right. Let's let's go in there. Just attempt fate, because why not? I did. What are you doing? Garen, that's not where I said to go. Uh-oh. You see the pillow flying towards your head to hear, hear the sheriff's wife say, Scream! <laughs> You never dreamed a feather pillow could be so hard. Or was that the floor? You also didn't realize how hard it would be and it is for a thief to be a hero. The thief of Baghdad never had this kind of luck. Restore. 
Oh my god, we found the uh, sheriff's wife. So let's not touch that box, because we don't want to wake up the uh, lagoon. Okay. I don't think we have anything worth stealing in here, so let's leave. Let's open this door. The door is securely barred from the inside, but you get some practice. Let's move along. Let's see, can we actually open this one? It does not work. It does not work. Don't tell me we don't have it. Let's go this way. Nope, we can't get up there. So let's move over here. Okay. Don't mind me! Don't mind me! You hear Snick. The lock is open. The smell of lavender and dust fills your nose as you walk in. This reminds you of your great aunt's house you once visited. There is a covered bird cage near the stairs and a knitted knitting basket near the beside the couch. The little old lady left her purse on the couch. Mighty careless of her. A large wooden chest undoubtedly filled with priceless treasures. The little house cat seems harmless, but strangely restless. Let's pet the cat. You pet the nice kitty. Continue to pet the nice kitty. The cat likes being petted. You do quick equipment check. Everything seems to be where it is. I think I made a friend. In the purse, you find 20 silver and some soiled nap and nap hankies. You take the silver. Don't mind me. You find a single silver on one of the... In, in the desk drawers. You find nothing else of value. Chest is filled with old quilts, dollies, and sweaters. Five sizes too large for anyone to wear. You really don't want any of them. So you close the chest again. So we just entirely broke into, you know, Nana's house. So that's a thing. This is a very insistent cat. Can't do much with that. Okay, um, let's go over here and pet the cat once more. Very insistent cat. Let us turn that. You can't do much with that. So, let's see, what is this over here? There's an assortment of plastic fruit on the wooden table. Stairs up. Leads to the door to the upstairs room. Can't do with much with that. Alright, so I think we've done all we can here. Let us head out. We can break into the guild, but quite honestly, there isn't anything in there worth stealing. Let us attempt to get outside of town. The wall is too smooth to climb with your level of skill, but keep practicing keep going. You better not try to climb the wall anymore right now. You've been at this long enough for someone to likely notice. Keep going! Keep going! Let's see. Did, how much practice did we get from that? A lot, actually. We are out of stamina, though, so let us, uh... Actually, no. We, we don't want to rest out here. Let's, uh, Unsneak for a moment and head to the tavern because now we can actually go inside and rest for the evening. Ah, and there's the dude. Take a seat near the fire. He's now back up. Oh, it's. Oh, it seems that it is indeed sad and dangerous times we live in where a man who struggles daily to keep from starving should be robbed of all of his earthly possessions. I am Shima. Allow me to serve you, wanderer from afar. Do you wish food or drink? Yes, let us not give her my pick, because that would be silly. 
We will have a meal. You, There is no need. You are not hungry. Your money is no good here. Uh, let's get a drink instead. Your caffeine addicts. You caffeine addicts are all alike. I feel personally attacked. I have coffee right beside me. I'm not okay with this. Let's talk to this dude. Robbery. Two weeks ago, I was going to be a ve wealthy beyond what you could dream of. I, Abdullah Du, would be the first merchant in this valley this year. But my family was sh but my life was shattered by bandits. That would never work. Um, that would never work. The table is too bored and loggy to respond. Thanks anyway, you tell it. The puns, they burn. The puns, they burn. Brigands. The band of brigands ambushed us just as we crossed the pass into the valley. There hurt about twenty bandits, including a huge minotaur. Uh oh. There was also the, a leader and some sort of wizard. They first used some magic to blind us, then they overwhelmed my six guards and my assistants. All my trade goods taken from uh, from before me. I'm now but a beggar, living off the generosity of my friends. Um, magic. The wizard threw something at us that caused my eyes to be blinded with tears and my nose to be uh, to be forced to sneeze. I was helpless. Neat. The Minotaur. The Minotaur is a creature with the head of a bull and the body of a man. They were said. They are said to be very strong. And there comes a Shima with our drink. I bring that which you have ordered. May it please and satisfy you. Thank you, cat. It is good. Let's continue talking to you. The leader. The leader was wearing a cloak, so I couldn't see his face. His voice was rather high-pitched, though. Hmm. Young boy, maybe woman? The wizard. The wizard was very short, and he giggled most of the time. Couldn't understand what he was saying. Guards. Here I pay good money for men to protect, my, uh, to protect me. And what they do when, when I need protection? They run away! Not not one man died to defend my treasure. You just can't hire good guards anymore. I am sorry to hear this. Something else. Wealth. I had treasures carefully brought from Shapir with me. I even had a magic carpet with me. N name. I am Abdul Adul, son of Ali, grandson of Hassan, and former master merchant of Shapir. Now I am put a penniless burden upon my friends. Friends. Even though they too lost a fortune when the brigands stole from me. Shamin and Shima are caring for the and for this frail shadow of a great man. Shima. She is the finest of cooks, outside of myself, that is. But her fine food is as dust in my mouth, for I am but a beggar. Shamin. He is, he is the very prince of the katas. I highly doubt that, but okay. Ah, Shapir, beautiful land of golden sands and shining sun, the heart of civilization. Alas, she is plagued with fierce jinn and ifrits, and ifrits who seek to drive all men and katas from the land. But I cannot speak I can speak no more of the homeland I shall never see again. Instead I will die in this cold forsaken land bereft of all I love. Well, as you can see, Mr. Do here is uh, very much um a very broken man. Let us drink our beverage. And she comes back out to take our stuff. Permit me to clear the table for you. Let 
let us buy a night's rest. Because we cannot do anything at the moment. May your dream, may you dream of all the rewards you deserve. You thank Shamin, you pay him five silver for the room. So we basically just, you know, stole for the night. The sleep heals and, refresh, and refreshes you. Refleshes you? Yes, it refreshes you. You wake up with a whole new set of skin. Take a seat at the table in the table nearest to the fire. I say the same thing repeatedly, but it is good to see you wander from afar. You wish food or drink? Yes, let us get some more food in our stomach. A meal. There's no need, you are not hungry. Your money is no good there. Um, actually, you know what, we'll get up. We don't need to do anything, it would appear. Now, if I recall, I think sleeping in the inn actually fully restores your health. Or something to that effect, I don't know. It doesn't restore the health, but it definitely um, restored all of our um, stamina, so there is that. Let us leave. Alright, onwards! Heading out of town. Now, I'm going to need to do... Well, I need to check some things out. Because, if I recall, there are some things we need to do involving the graveyard. Some things that the healer can help us with. Come on. No, first, first, let's save. Saving. There we go. Let's... Undead. That's a lot of silver. I find that you have less money than you thought, and thus cannot buy the potion. Well, shit. Okay, so we need to actually go and uh, do some stuff. We actually do, in fact, need to um, earn our pay. Hang on. Let me open the gate for you. Let's go this way. Onwards. I see you're back. Need some work? Yes. Um, good. Come in here and get a rake. I don't pay you to rest. Get to work. Nah. Okay, come over here. Now you're five silver richer. All right. But the biggest benefit to to doing that is our strength and our vitality increase. We, in fact, get much more health the more we do this. And there was, of course, the Swordmaster, once again, practicing his abilities. We're just going to walk right by him. Don't mind me. Come on. Garen. Garen. Thank you. That's not... No. No. Stop that. He's over there now. Ah, there's the barracks. 
The guard looks like he's either very tired or very lazy. I'm not here to answer your stupid questions. Go talk to Carl the gatekeeper. He talks to anyone about almost anything. It doesn't work here. It doesn't work. You hear no no that the guards must be asleep. Okay, so we can't get up there. But yeah, that's the uh, barracks. So, when we come back, folks, we'll be doing, um, go away. This is the barracks for us guards of new shit. Okay, let's go this way. And as we watch the uh, Swordmaster do his thing, we will, um, we will um, continue for next, we will save this for next time. But when we come back, folks, we will uh, be needing to do some things to train because as a hero, we're kind of, well, we're very weak. We, we need to find a way to get into the Thieves Guild, earn our, you know, abilities to thieve around and such, and hopefully, at some point, begin to save the valley. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I will see you then. Later.